Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you are doing good. Today we are going to discuss a small video on scenario based interview question related to enabling actions for resolved cases in PEGA case. There are very smart people who are watching my content without subscribing. Please do subscribe and don't miss the content from this channel. Let's get started into the topic. So we know that uh, we will be accessing cases through case types and here if you go for a case type and click on open you can see there are two tabs mainly processes and stages and under processes we can add case while actions where we can have some local actions to be present for the entire case and we have stages also in the respective stage if you want some local actions to be given to the user you would be giving here as optional actions and here you can mention local action and visibility condition like always one rule and expression so based on the criteria you can uh, go with the displayment of the local actions and suppose if you want to uh, give a particular local action that needs to be displayed for the entire case life cycle you have to uh, consider it adding under processes case wide actions and we have here allow when case is resolved so if you want to enable this particular local action to be performed on a case even though case is resolved you can uh, give this checkbox such that when case is resolved uh, then also you can see under action step this particular flow action so this is like a combination of both the things like visibility you can add and you can add this particular checkbox also to get it displayed uh, when case is resolved so resolved in a sense you might again get a doubt there are many types of resolve like resolve cancel resolve rejected resolve approved like that so for that purpose you can play around with your when rule suppose this is OOTB when rule where uh, it is already configured with the resolve let's see what it is configured here so basically here they were checking with all the statuses with result which is very good so uh, you can uh, reuse this uh, when rule or suppose if you have a criteria like if it is resolved cancelled and resolved rejected then only you want to display a separate flow action then you write your own visibility condition or you can go with an expression as well so based on your business scenario you have to enable this Thanks for watching this video. Hope you understood this concept. Please share, comment on this video if you like it. And please subscribe to my channel as it is free of cost. And you can listen more videos from me.